So today we're going to talk about what to do if uh, you don't think your riding lawnmower battery is charging. Uh, we'll show you how to check out the charging system and then uh, how to possibly repair it if you're having a problem. So one thing I should mention is uh, before you go too far with checking the other things in this video is you're going to want to make sure that your battery terminals are clean and you have good connections there and your connectors are well uh, crimped on to your wires here because if you got a bad connection at your battery or you have a bad ground at the other end of this wire here it can cause all kinds of bizarre behavior okay i've seen it before where the starter will work and everything but due to the resistance here it won't charge okay for some reason when you try and draw a lot of current it can jump across or something but when you try and trickle voltage back in it won't so uh probably the first thing you want to do is to check your battery terminals if they're corroded Take them apart, scrape up off of the knife, get rid of the cor corrosion on the battery post and on this connector on both of these, and then put it back together. And you might have to check on the other end of your ground wire, take it off and, and sand down your frame and stuff, because um, you could have a bad connection there as well. First thing you want to do is check your voltage on your battery. You've got a voltmeter. Battery could be under the seat or under the hood. So take a check with the engine off. And right now this is 12.71 volts. So we'll start the engine and then uh, check it again. So that was uh, over 12.8 volts. As long as your voltage with it running is higher at all than what it is with it off, then your charging system is working, okay? If it stays the same or if it drops down, then your charging system is not working. All right, go ahead. So when you check your battery voltage, you, you might have your meter on DC volts, right? Uh, so the next thing to check is it could be either your coil that's under your flywheel that the charging coil is not working is burnt out shorted out or it could be your voltage regulator or some other connection uh, i'll show you how to check the the coil here this coil wires from the charging coil come out from the top of the engine okay don't confuse it with these other wires down here that are for the anti-backfire switch and, and the ignition kill switch all right so what you want to do is unplug this take the side that's coming from the engine and um, I use a trouble light here. I'm going to fire up the engine and, and see if this light lights up or not. So you know now that the coil is good because you have output there. Or I'll show you another way you can do that. You can use uh, a meter here and you want it on AC volts for this test because your, your coil is putting out AC and that's why you need a diode or a regulator. So you can see that coil was putting out 25 volts AC, which is why it blew that light bulb out because there was no diode, there was no battery to, to absorb the peaks in the voltage, and there was no regulator. So that's another way to check and make sure that your charging coil is, is working properly. And you want to have your engine running at full RPM to do these tests so you, that it, it gives you a clear distinction of whether or not the battery voltage has changed or if you got voltage coming out of here, that's what I would recommend. So next, uh, I'll show you where the diode is on this machine. So if, if you have this type of charging system, you know how to fix that. So on, on this model, this is a lower end uh, lawnmower. All they have in here is a diode in the charging system because your charging coil is putting out AC and you need DC to charge your battery. So 
this is essentially a half wave rectifier system here with no voltage regulation. And uh, since it's only half wave, it, it isn't putting out as much as a full wave associated with a voltage regulator. So they're just calling that good, all right, because it's cheap. If you're, I just had to replace one of these and the diode was fried, okay, it was all charred and everything. Um, so this diode is a 1N5406, which is, uh, can handle three amps of charging current with a 600 volt peak inverse voltage. If you do have to replace your diode, make sure that this silver bar on the end goes away from the engine, okay? Because the diode only conducts in one direction, and if you put it in backward, it's just going to drain your battery in, instead of powering it, all right? Um, and it could either be here between the engine and this connector, or a lot of times it'll be in the between the connector and the ignition switch, that wiring back there. So if you have a higher end mower than this, uh, you could have a voltage regulator, which uh, is basically a, a full wave rectifier. So you're getting both halves of your AC coming off the coil. And so this, this would hook to your engine and then this would go to your battery. Okay, this is the DC out, full wave rectified. And well, that's it, yeah. Full wave rectified in here and then regulated to put out maybe 15 volts or something to your battery so that it charges. So that's that's one type and that'll typically be bolted on the side of your engine somewhere. There's another type here. Wiring around this is a 795067. All right, if you have one of these. This is another type here. Same thing, all right. Output from your coil goes here. Regulated DC out here to your battery. And this is uh, Briggs and Stratton part number 691185. So if you are getting voltage from your engine, no matter what, it's either, chances are it's either the diode or one of these regulators. So um, I guess that's the first thing I, I would replace is either the diode or one of these if you have output from your coil, but the battery's not charging. So hope this helped you out. Good luck.